Greetings fellow mathematicians. Welcome to our Learning Place or Teaching Place website where you will find all you need to teach and learn mathematics from kindergarten to year six for deep understanding. This is one of a series of videos on the research behind the pedagogy and the curriculum on a Learning Place or Teaching Place. This research today comes from Lev Vygotsky and also from a little known review, the National Numeracy Review, which is an Australian review that came out in 2008. Now, Lev Vygotsky, you may already know, talks about the zone of proximal development and also about thought and language. The zone of proximal development means that you can only learn whatever's next in your zone of proximal development. Now this actually means that children learning with other children is going to accelerate learning and make learning deeper. As an adult, we find it very hard to teach a child within their zone of proximal development because our zone of proximal development is so much higher. I'm going to demonstrate what this means in a minute. Now, trying to teach a child something up here when their zone of proximal development is down here is a waste of time. They will not be able to learn it. So if you, for example, have a child in year five who should be learning at this level, but their zone of proximal development, their current level of understanding is down here, you have to let them learn within that zone of proximal development at that level that they're at now and not at the year five level. Then by the end of the year, they may have come up a few levels. They may not still be up to the year five level, but they will have moved. If you try to teach them up here, when their zone of proximal development is down here, they will still have exactly the same level at the end of the year as they had at the beginning of the year. Now, thought and language, Vygotsky talks about how we think and then we talk and then we do. That's the way that the brain learns. You have got to talk to learn because we think in concepts and it's putting it into logical order of words that makes that deep understanding and those neural connections in your brain become strong. Now, lots of traditional mathematics classes were silent. You read from the textbook, you read the activity, you sat there silently, you did it. You're not going to develop deep or relational understanding that way. To develop this deep understanding, you need to think, you need to talk, and you need to do. Now, you may have realized sometimes when you're learning something that's very technical, you might be reading something very technical, you might notice your lips start moving, you might notice you start mumbling. That's because your brain has to hear the words, has to have you actually saying the words to develop that deep understanding. Your brain knows how it works. So letting children talk to one another, explain concepts, ask questions, is going to develop deep understanding of concepts. Now, the National Numeracy Review came out with, I think, about 17 recommendations for teaching mathematics. One of them was that we make sure that the language and literacies of maths are explicitly taught and used by the children. Now, there's a link to a video by Professor Brian Cox. He starts off talking in the video about the sun. That's within our zone of proximal development. We all know about the sun. He talks about the light coming from the sun. Then he starts talking about the spectrum of light and how you can tell what the sun is made of by the spectrum of light. That's where I lose my zone of proximal development. He then jumps up to talking about the different layers, the different lines, sulfurs, yellow, all these kind of other concepts that, okay, I sort of have as a bit of an idea in my head, but I can't explain. And as Einstein said, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it. Now I'm going to let you have a look at that in your time. I'm going to just give you one little example of how a very basic concept of mathematics, counting, is something that we cannot teach a child. Because us as adults, that is way down here and our level of conceptual understanding, our zone of proximal development is way up here. So for the next couple of minutes, 
the letters M N O P Q R S T U V are now the numbers 0 to 9. So if I was to say to you, show me P fingers, would you now start from M? But would you then realize that, hang on, M0? So I have to start from N O P. So P is going to be three fingers. You did what a child does when they are learning to count. Now you have the advantage of having number sense. Number sense means that you know that P fingers is always going to be the same amount. Three is always three. P is always going to be this amount. A child doesn't have that number sense. You also have the advantage that you already know the number sequence. You already know the sequence M, N, O, P, Q and so on. So we cannot teach a child this because it is so much lower than our zone of proximal development. They have got to learn with other children through questioning and through explaining. Now what if I jumped you above your zone of proximal development now and said what is R plus T? Are you starting from one again? Are you having to work out what one is, uh, what R is and then what T is? Now the answer isn't one of the letters that we've already talked about. It's going to be going back to, in base 10, once you get to 10, you go back to 1 and 0. 1 and 1. So what letter combination is going to be the answer to R plus T? So I hope that this has helped you to understand the Vygotsky's research and how we've applied it to our Learning Place, a Teaching Place website.